Albert Einstein said, this is the eighth wonder of the world. What is it? Compound interest. In this episode, I'm going to discuss how to understand a compound interest, how it can work for you instead of against you. Get ready, I, you're going to be blown away with some of my examples. So I'm Doug Andrew. I've been a financial strategist and retirement planning specialist now for five decades, helping thousands of people, uh, mostly in America, uh, optimize their assets, minimize tax, empower their authentic wealth. I also have taught over 5,000 of the nation's top advisors, many uh, sophisticated experts, CPAs, and tax attorneys. When I teach advanced continuing education, we'll bring up compound interest. And I'll ask them, how many of you uh, have a pretty good handle on compound interest? They all raise their hand and roll their eyes like we thought this was advanced continuing education. Then they proceed to flunk three questions on a simple math quiz. And uh, you ought to hear their answers to the following example. Are you ready? I uh, pass out an eight and a half by 11 uh, sheet of paper, 26 pound copy paper. And uh, I say, don't look at the inside where it's printed. Uh, I want you to fold this sheet of paper in half once and in half again. That's called hamburger style. Uh, this is hot dog style when I do it with little kids, okay? So uh, fold it over twice. Now imagine if you could fold the sheet of paper in half uh, 48 more times, a total of 50 times. Uh, you can't physically do that because of the folds. Uh, I want you all to write down on this sheet of paper in some form of measurement, uh, millimeters, uh, centimeters, inches, yards, miles. Uh, how thick do you think this would be if you could fold it over 48 more times, a total of 50 times? And I have them do it. And these uh, smart CPAs and tax attorneys who understand math, okay, uh, I'll go around and have them give me my answers. Now, uh, at least 95% will come up with answers, usually between a quarter of an inch, three inches, six inches, maybe a foot, one or two, say a mile, and then maybe one out of a hundred will say, um, it's hundreds of miles, and they get laughed out of the room. The first time I did this, I didn't have a calculator, and I said, well, it's gotta be at least 2,600 miles or more, and everybody just laughed at me. Then I say, okay, what is, what is this doing every time you fold it in half? It's doubling, right? Double, double, double. And then I say, unfold your sheet of paper. They do that and I have the chart on this side and I said, now this sheet of paper, 26 pound copy paper, uh, is uh, five one thousandths of an inch thick. If you fold it over once, it's now uh, uh, doubled and then double, double, double. If you folded this sheet, sheet of paper and have five one thousandths of an inch thick, do you know that in 20 folds, it's already a million 48,000 uh, times thicker? Uh, if you folded it over 42 times, 42, it'd be from here to the moon. If you could fold this over 50 times, it would be from here to the sun, 93 million miles thick. There's the numbers, okay? Uh, math doesn't lie. If you could fold it over one more time, 51 times, it would be from here to the sun and back. Double, 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 double. And uh, even the CPAs and tax attorneys uh, are almost ashamed of themselves because they acted like they understood compound interest. Well, Einstein said compound interest uh, it was the eighth wonder of the world. Uh, Rothschild said, well, it's, it's compound interest tax free. And uh, I'm gonna show you the difference here at the end of this episode, so stay with me. And I wanna gift you a copy of my book, The Laser Fund, because I'll show you how to compound your money totally tax free, which is a huge difference when you do the math. But before we get there, let me just uh, give you a few other little exercises if you're talking to friends about compound interest and they can't get their brain around it. Sometimes without disclosing what kind of a golfer I am, uh, I'll say, okay, if we go out and play 18 holes of golf, uh, let's bet a dollar on the first hole and double the bet every hole for 18 holes. Should we shake on that? Now, hey, if they knew what kind of a golfer is, they'd, they'd, they'd do it in a second. But what would the 18th hole bet be? Over $32,000. Uh, it's sort of uh, when these math questions that I give CPAs and tax attorneys, uh, the, the second math question is uh, this scenario, okay? There's a lake 
And in this lake is a patch of lily pads. Every day, uh, the, the, the lilies double. And so uh, if it takes 48 days for the uh, lilies to cover the entire lake, how many days would it take for the lilies to cover half the lake? Now, most of these CPAs and tax attorneys uh, say 24 days. No, it's not half of 48 days. It's compounding. That means it doubles, doubles, doubles. If you go the opposite direction, you cut it in half, cut it in half, cut it in half. It's the 47th day. On the 47th day, the lake is half full. If it doubles, it's gonna to be totally full because two halves equal a full lake, okay? Uh, but uh, a lot of people miss that question. It's sort of like when I was in grade school um, and I remember uh, my uh, math teacher as I was taking uh, math going into junior high, uh, posed the question, let's say you own a horse and you're gonna go to the blacksmith and get it shooed. You know, horses have four legs, four uh, you know, hoofs to shoe. And uh, let's say the blacksmith <coughs> needs to put eight nails in each shoe. And he says, well, uh, how about I charge you a penny for the first nail and we just double <coughs> for every nail that I use. Now, if you said yes, which sounds like a bargain, uh, the 32nd nail would cost you uh, over 42,000 uh, bucks. No, $42 million. Do the math. <clears throat> you should not uh, go to that blacksmith who's gonna start out at a penny a nail and use 32, and every time he puts a nail on there, he's gonna double the, the, the price for the next nail. Does that make sense? And so compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world, according to Einstein, because he said, when we talk about um, a physical body, when a sperm and an egg fertilize and it begins to split the cells, within hours, there are billions of cells. And they begin to differentiate uh, themselves uh, into lungs and, and brain and uh, bones and what have you. And, and in nine months, we have billions of cells all specialized in a human being. And so that is like the eighth wonder of the world as it relates to how things grow, but this also relates to money <clears throat> and how your money can grow with compound interest. And so <clears throat> to understand the power of compounding, it, it's probably wise to understand the simple rule of 72. You take the rate of return you're earning and you divide that into the number 72 and it will tell you how many years it takes to double your money. So if you're gonna earn, <clears throat> let's say, 5% uh, interest, five into 72 means your money will double every 14.4 years. That's starting out with just a single lump sum, not adding any uh, additional monies. If you were to earn 7.2%, which is the worst rate of return in the Great uh, Recession, uh, that's the worst uh, 10, 12 year period, uh, 2000 to 2010 or 2012, since the Great Depression, I average 7.23% without uh, re-diversifying or rebalancing my portfolio. My money would have doubled. A million would have been worth two million when most Americans didn't even get back to break even. Uh, now, you will learn on my channel that uh, by diversifying and rebalancing, I actually earned 11, netted 10 uh, after tax. Now, <clears throat> it's tax-free, but that's after the cost. And so it's not really after tax, it's after the cost of the insurance that made it tax-free but I'd like to compare it to after-tax rates of return. You'd have to be earning 15% in an IRA or 401k in a 33% bracket to net 10. If you were earning 10 divided into 72, your money will double uh, every 7.2 years. Since 1980, on my favorite financial vehicle, Max Funded Indexed Universal Life, uh, I call it, uh, if it's structured correctly and funded properly, uh, the laser fund. And I'm gonna gift you a copy of my 300 page book. It's been flying off of warehouse shelves, uh, absolutely free at the end of this episode. But uh, the, the laser fund has uh, given me a rate of return averaging 9.62% since uh, 1980. Since 1997, it's even been higher by rebalancing. But let's just say 9.6, rounded down to that, into 72 means my money will double every seven and a half years. If I started out with 125,000, it doubles to 250 in seven and a half years, and then to uh, uh, 500,000, then a million. If you started out with a half a million, it doubles to a million, and then to two million, then to four million, to eight million in a 30 year period. We have many clients who have experienced that kind of doubling of their money due to compound interest at a rate of return of 9.6% average, okay? So let me make sure you understand uh, the power of uh, tax-free compounding versus tax uh, 
deferred or even taxed as earned, which is the worst way to save money, but it's the most common way Americans save. So let's say a dollar doubles 20 times to two, four, eight, okay? Uh, it'll be worth a million forty-eight thousand dollars after 20 doublings. So that's if it's tax-free. Now, uh, if it's tax deferred in an IRA or 401k, you may say, well, it's still worth a million. But if that's an IRA or 401k, that's not all your money. Uh, the government has a permanent tax lien on that. And between the federal government and uh, 41 out of 50 states has a state income tax, uh, you may end up uh, paying a third of that in tax. You might only net 660,000, 700,000 and a 30% 30, 30 marginal uh, tax bracket uh, combined federal and state. And so that's not all your money. So it's not the best rate of return, right? If you pulled out, uh, let's say if you're earning 10% out of a million dollar nest egg, you pull out hundred grand a year, you're only netting about 67,000 to buy gas and groceries. Uh, if you needed a net of 100,000, you have to pull out 50% more money in a 33% tax bracket. Did you hear that? I have to pull out 150,000, pay tax of a third, 33%, 50 grand to net 100. Uh, a million dollar nest egg earning 10%, pulling out 10% a year. Uh, if you had to gross it up to net 10%, then uh, your nest egg of a million bucks would be drained dry in 11 years. You would outlive your money. So that's why I prefer totally tax-free because if I have a million dollars tax-free, I can generate at the same 10%, which I've averaged net, a uh, hundred grand a year of tax-free income for as long as I live, if I live to be 120. Whereas an IRA or 401k uh, to net a hundred thousand after tax, I'm gonna be out of money in 11 years. If I retire at 65 by, by age 76, I'm out of money. Whereas my max funded IUL, the same rate of return, I, I have money until I'm 120 years old if I live that long, okay? But see, most Americans uh, put their money in banks, credit unions, regular mutual funds taxed as earned. That means uh, you pay tax every year on the interest or the dividends uh, that are sent to you in a statement, okay? And so <clears throat> let's say a dollar doubles uh, to two and then you pay tax at 25%. You got a buck 75 and then a buck 75 doubles to 350 the next year. You pay tax on that. Well, instead of having a million, you'll only have $72,000. 7.2% of what you could have had. That's what most Americans do. They pay tax as they go, okay? Uh, in a 33% bracket, which uh, most people that I work with are at least in a 33% combined federal and state bracket, uh, that uh, dollar would only uh, double 20 times to a net of 27,000 bucks, 2.7% of what you could have had. I prefer that my money grows to a million tax free. And that million is all my money. And so if you want to learn how to do this, uh, I would strongly recommend uh, how to safely compound your money totally tax free, uh, because it makes a huge difference at the end of the day, as you can see uh, from this math. And so uh, this is my 11th book. It's called The Laser Fund, How to Diversify and Create the Foundation for a Tax-Free Retirement. You'll learn about the three marvels of wealth accumulation in here, compound interest, tax-free compounding, and safe positive leverage. Now, this retails on Amazon for 20 bucks plus shipping and handling. I'll gift you a copy free. You simply contribute a nominal amount towards the shipping and handling. I'll cover the rest of that uh, and I'll pay for the book. I'll fire out a hard copy to you via priority mail. And uh, you can read and learn while you're in there claiming your free copy. There's options to listen and learn, watch and learn. You can even schedule an appointment with an IUL specialist that will show you how this may work in your particular set of circumstances. There's no cost or obligation. We teach educational webinars all the time. But claim your free copy. Uh, it's actually two books in one. This side is for the left brain learner, charts and graphs. This side is for the right brain learner, all of the 62 client stories that we have put in here of how the laser fund can be used for all kinds of financial goals. So this is uh, not about me. This is about you and your brighter future. Begin to understand now the power of compound interest tax free.